our meeting definitely after this <laughs> so um and that and then like the the pinkertons that were called on that one guy who uh was streaming did you did you hear about this about the the magic the gather all right um this happened a while back uh, a couple it was after the ogl licensing thing well ogl that's redundant to say licensing but ogl it happened after that there was a, a youtube streamer that um ordered a box of magic the gathering and he was sent a box that hadn't been debuted yet and so he opened them live on his stream knowing that they weren't that they hadn't debuted yet uh, and then like opened them, showing them, and that's part of the magic of Magic the Gathering, I don't know, is the, that secrecy before they debut. So the thought with uh, Wizards is that it devalued their product by this guy going on YouTube and saying, well, this is a card from that set, this is a card from that set, this is a card. Um, and again, it kind of gets muddled as, as stories do, uh, as far as Wizards of the Coast says that they tried reaching out to the guy to... to to rectify the situation um but they were unsuccessful but they don't say how many times they tried to reach out or if it was by text or carrier pigeon or nothing they don't say how they tried to but they just said they did um and long story longer story shorter um the pinkertons ended up going to his house and if you know what the pinkertons are or at least used to be they used to be pretty heavy-handed now they're i mean i don't think there's any like any any lawsuits against the Pinkertons right now there may be I don't know but they're not what they used to be but they used to be considered like these heavy handed like it'd be like sending Boba Fett to, to your house to recover these Magic the Gathering cards uh, back in the day but they went there from what everything that's been reported um, it was amicable it was fine but the guy did get back on YouTube and after they, they asked him to take down that the, that stream he took it down I think that they ended up sending him the box that he initially tried to get, so he did get cards. It's not like they went and stole something. But the story became Wizards of the Coast sent Pinkertons to this guy's house to take these cards back. So it became just this even bigger thing on top of the OGL. So a lot of people were like, well, screw Wizards of the Coast. Screw oh these guys. God. So um, all of this... <laughs> that video? I, don't, I, don't, I, I know quite a few did. I know quite a few did before it was taken down. But like enough to like warrant it like enough to put that amount of effort into like did he really ruin magic the gathering for like millions of people (laughs) i don't think so and i think it was more about and again i'm I'm in no way connected to wizard of the coast so i don't know but um i do think it was a matter of more of just okay well this is what we should do this is the message we want to send that this is not okay and this is what we what we want to fix if you're not going to communicate with us we're going to get our cards back I have um, such mixed feelings on this. Um, yeah. I'm as if it was. I'm just trying to put myself in both situations. Right. Um, I think one, if you got the wrong cards, the right thing to do would have been to say, "Hey, I got the wrong cards. Can you can we exchange this for the cards I actually ordered? I'll send you back what you gave me, and I get what I ordered." I think that guy definitely took advantage of a situation. Um. Which I think is kind of lame. <laughs> However, um, to send the Pinkertons over to rectify said situation, I think is a little bit of an overreach. <laughs> uh, so, what's that thing? Like, two wrongs don't make a right? Um, yeah. I, I feel like that's like what the situation is. And damn, but yeah, I think it's it's just, it's not a good look for either, to be honest. I feel like it's yeah. kind of like a. a, a bone had to move to do the stream to begin with and then the bone had to move for like the way it was resolved but oh man what would you do oh god like if i'm if i'm given like i guess if you're telling me like so many people watch this video i mean he and if you care like if this guy had like a big youtube thing going he's like oh this mm-hmm. is like getting handed gold you know what i mean um yeah i mean i i i I, tr- I thought about it a minute and I was like, okay, so what would the equivalent be? So like in our, in our field, it would be like if, if, um, if one of our comic books, if we have a release on a Wednesday and we're prom- and we're promoting for this Wednesday for it to come out on new comic book day. And then it's pirated online uh, a week or two, a month before. So that any excitement that was building up towards this physical product that people go into the store and spend five bucks on, 
they're now getting for free because someone is showing it off online and, and so i guess that would be the equivalent and and i don't know if <clears throat> i so I, I get that. I get I get yeah. why there would be that. Okay, well we don't want this to happen. You shouldn't pirate. And I'm I'm old enough, and I'm sure you are too, to remember like at the beginning of those uh, <laughs> VCR DVDs where it have like FBI warning, the copy. This is copyright, and if you play this for and make money, you're you're sending the Pinkertons. <laughs> but <laughs> it didn't say Pinkertons. But <laughs> you're in show. So I I do know that it's it's enough of a thing. I think for, like getting to New York Pinkertons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where the dead rabbits were coming after our cards it's like the dead rabbits show up and... oh, there's Leonardo DiCaprio's at your door with, with Liam Neeson like... that's a great movie it, that is a fantastic movie yeah. very very underrated Liam, yeah. uh, Leonardo DiCaprio movie yeah. I think that was but... like right around Titanic time too when that came out or I could be completely wrong like New- that off. came out right after 9-11 and I, the only reason I remember that is because uh I went and watched it in the theaters, and at the very end of Gangs of New York, it has that cemetery scene where it's yeah. got like the and it shows World's the two towers. T- the yeah, twin towers in the background. And I just remember being like emotional during it. Yeah. So, oh my god, that was such a good movie. Yeah, it was a really was good movie. movie. Yeah. yeah. Definitely a stray from reality, but something <laughs> yeah. like that happened in New York. <laughs> it's a stretch, but hey, who says? But uh, the uh, but but the YouTuber. So um. I think in any field where it's an entertainment field, uh, like like Wizards of the Coast or Magic the Gathering, and and a big part is that initial pump, right? So like in movies, that opening day weekend, everybody wants that. Everybody needs that big push on that opening day. So if a movie's leaked beforehand, it impacts it, right? Mm -hmm. So I can see on one hand why they would want to react and say this isn't right. And I think there should have been an HR meeting prior to sending the Pinkertons mm-hmm. over to be like, hey, guys, so are there other ways we can handle this? Because I don't know if this is right. Um, and I think that would have been easier to, to fix in the moment than in hindsight, especially after the OGL. I think a, a cool I th- this is how I would have handled it. Um, I would if I was Wizards of the Coast and this happened, obviously, hey, or we made a mistake but obviously the guy wasn't responding probably wasn't responding because he didn't want to take the video down and he didn't want to lose like the publicity of it my thing would have been like hey what if we do you know some sort of you can come to Wizards of the Coast and film or you know you can well, maybe we could do like a stream together and like we can shout out your mm-hmm. channel it's like give you something because that's obviously what you want maybe we could promote your channel or you can come over here and you know do a tour of Wizards of the Coast and you know whatever um, yeah that's probably what I would have done is given him an option to get some sort of content for his channel that would have been just for him um, and that would probably would have been my trade-off yeah and I think that would have been a great solution where it was a win-win for both parties whereas the YouTuber I think it was a win-win no matter what he did but not so for Wizards of the Coast. Like if, no. if you know, I mean, no matter what, I think this guy's getting more viewers now than he probably would have had before. Yeah, uh, and, and it, but now and he has more, more of a negative story to spin. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. As, as opposed to coming like, hey, like Wizards of the Coast made this mistake. I took advantage of it. That's my bad. But this is how they wanted to handle it. And I think it's a great. It was great. So they're inviting me over to their spot and where are they? Portland or. Uh, where are they? They're in Seattle or Portland, one of the two. Um, Mordor, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's somewhere up there. Uh, and it's cold over there. Yeah. And uh, I think that would have been a cool trade off, though. Like, mm-hmm. him, him just kind of going there. I mean, a $500 plane ticket as opposed to sending the Pinkertons, which probably cost $500 anyways. And yeah. then, like, come film and meet some of the executives, answer some questions, whatever. Unless guys, like, they saw his channel and the guy's, like, a complete Daryl. And like, like, oh, we can't talk to this guy. Like, this guy's complete like, Daryl. <laughs> oh, so in high school we would call douchebags Daryls. So I'm alienating any Daryl watching the show. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm sorry, Daryl from Portland. <laughs> yeah, actually, Daryl from Portland. Uh, I hope there's a Daryl from Portland that watches this. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I we used to call douchebags Daryl's and then 
Cynthia was the other name that we would be about. Yeah. You're the kind of guy who would leave his girlfriend's uh, Sweet 16 to go get a copy of Harry Potter. Harry Potter book. <laughs> Oh God. I, You're yeah, such a Daryl. I, I, was, I was a Daryl. Um, <laughs> she's a terrible human being, anyways. Okay. <laughs> she was a Cynthia. <laughs> she was a Cynthia. Oh my God. Yeah, uh, well, the um, <laughs> so the books, the book, the five e books that are coming out in 2024, um, to kind of justify the price a little bit, I think. Well, a, I think the point that I. Uh, with these new books and bringing up the whole OGL and, and the Pinkertons um, is that I'm hoping that there's someone at Wizards of the Coast who's like, we need to put all of our efforts into winning back trust, all of our efforts into making sure that we give a, an amazing product to start winning back trust, to start winning back loyalty, all of these.